hello everybody i know y'all are like what is going on no i don't have my lashes on no i don't have my hair done but i wanted to talk to you guys about detangling your hair and so i have to come to you guys raw and uncut just like this to show you guys how to do it so i've been wearing my headband wig and it's not on my mannequin back here so um I can't show y'all, but y'all have seen me in my headband wig before or whatever. So underneath my headband wig, I always have my hair back in a ponytail, okay? And I always use, of course, Queen of Styles Edge Control. And I, uh, you know, put it on my edges, brush it back, and I put all my hair in a ponytail, and then I put my headband wig on or whatever. But, like I always say, you have to take care of your hair underneath the wig. So, yeah. This is what I'm doing today. And I do it at least every other day or at least three to four times out of the week. I'm gonna take my hair down, I'm gonna wet it. You do not wanna detangle your hair while it's dry because you're gonna cause yourself a lot of pain and a lot of breakage and it doesn't have to be that way. So what you're gonna do when you detangle your hair, so I use a wide tooth comb. This is my detangling uh, tool and I love it. It's wide on this side, small on this side. I got a little bit of hair in it because I was combing through my hair, but guys, when you detangle your hair, you don't want to see big wise hair unless you've taken out like a protective style or some braids or something because your hair is supposed to shed every day regardless of the fact. So when you have protective styles in, those hairs get trapped in because your hair is braided and all this, that, and the other. So anyway, you want to do it on wet hair. So I have my hair is wet. I oil my scalp with, of course, Royal Magic Hair Serum. Puts, you know, so yeah. So it's, I take my comb and you want to start off at the ends. You want to detangle at the ends. And as you're going, as you're detangling, okay, I can comb through that. Then you want to move it up, up until you get to the root of the hair and boom, and boom. And so it's like that all over my hair. Cause like I said, I'm always uh, maintaining my hair and making sure that it's detangled all through the week, at least every other day. And I'll put my hair growth serum on and put it in a ponytail and go on my merry way. So yes, I wanted to talk to you guys about that and show you how to detangle your hair because a lot of people do not know how to and they're taking their hair and say if this was all, if this was the tangle, I just washed my hair and everything else. So I got a protective style and I washed my hair and now I wanted to tangle it. They'll start all the way up here and pull all the way down. And you, if you, if your hair needs to be detangled, you have tangles all through here. So all you're doing is making life hard and painful for yourself. You want to start at the ends and work yourself all the way up until all the tangles are cleared and you're at the root of your hair. And there you go. And you just can't do it when you wash your hair and then, you know, throw your hair in a ponytail and put, um, you know, your creams and oils in your hair and not go through your hair and comb your hair every day or almost every other day to make sure that it stays detangled or else it's going to get tangled up. Because like I said before, your hair sheds every single day. So there's going to be an amount of hair that's going to be trapped if I keep my hair back in the ponytail and I don't comb my hair at all. Let's say I go a week or two without combing my hair and I just leave it wake up every day and keep putting it back in this ponytail, guess what? <laughs> your hair is getting tangled and tangled and tangled because it's shedding and that's tangling up with your hair and it's growing and then you just have this. And so when it's time for you to detangle your hair, you got a lot going on. So you want to go through your hair throughout the week and you want to comb through to make sure that it stays detangled. When you detangle your hair, you want to start at the ends and you want to work yourself all the way up to the root until you can get through. This saves yourself a lot of pain and a lot of um, breakage of your hair. So I hope you guys learned something from this. 